Well, I wasn't planning on ending up back in Maysville in Kentucky. I was here a couple months ago. But uh, I kind of just kept driving and was scouting out some road cuts and ended up back here. But this is one of my favorite spots to collect. So let's find some fossils. So last time we were here, we were down on the other side of the road, down there. And we kind of ended right where that road sign is. So I figure if I'm on this side of the road and go up this way, I might cover some new territory this time around. So first thing I see is a little cephalopod chunk. It's uh, not much of anything to write home about, but that is a piece of a hard-bodied squid that would have lived during the Ordovician. So older than dinosaurs, like 400-ish million years, I think, in age. But cool. Well, that means we have a good chance of finding other cephalopod pieces here, which we found some last time. We actually found a really nice piece. Well, Alex did last time we were here. So hopefully we'll find some more. So we've got this nice piece here with a uh, brachiopod kind of inlaying some crinoids. I think that's a piece of a sh trilobite shell. Kind of a neat piece there. Lots of burrows. Kind of in a uh, shalier layer. And uh, so that's like hard body, like shell, broken up shell pieces. But uh, lots more burrows and things like that. This may have been a deeper sea environment when this layer was deposited. A little teeny tiny brachiopod right there. We'll throw him in there. And uh, some cute little brachiopods there. I'm not gonna take those home though. That's kind of a weird piece. Hawk up there. Oh, I don't usually like to get under rock overhangs, especially when I'm alone. But I'm curious if this is like stalactites or if it's just moss. Oh, it's just it's just moss. It's slimy. But that's kind of neat. I'm gonna get back down there. I'm not on solid ground. Let's see what do we have here. Uh, just some shell hash. Little uh, trilobite plate and some different molt fragments. These are probably from smaller trilobites, and that's probably from an isotelus. So, kind of neat. Last time we were here, I found the uh, feeding mechanism of one of these trilobites, which is uh, super neat. I'll have to put a picture of that in here and I'll link to the last video of our, our time here as well. Some brachiopods. So like, pretty much every Every rock here has fossils on it. Oh, this big one has a lot of cool stuff in it. Let's go over here. You can see all the brachiopods in here. It, uh, was once a, um, inland sea, shallow sea. So all kinds of cool stuff used to live here. Have a nice loose brachiopod there. Take that with us. It's my understanding that these shale layers have a lot of the loose bits and possible little rolled up trilobites. But I've yet to find one. This is kind of a interesting little piece. It's 
little uh, like bryozoan in the middle. You got some trilobite uh, fragments, some brachiopod fragments. Oh, a lot going on for such a tiny piece. And then this piece kind of intrigued me. So I can see this big crinoid stem in it. It's really long. So, uh, I'm gonna take that one with me. That's a big, long, big, long, uh, stem, I guess would be the word. Ooh. And we've got a big isotelus molt. I think this might be brachiopod back here. Maybe not. I don't know. That one I'm gonna leave behind. That nice little kind of piece here. I like that guy. Oh my goodness, let's see. That might be part of a uh, gastropod. Hmm. Some really nice big brachiopods on here. Look at that one. That one's nice. Ooh, and there's a little gastropod, a little snail shell on there. So last time we were here, Alex found a gorgeous cephalopod piece. And it was kind of in this kind of layer here where it's more shaly, there's not as much going on. So I'm hoping if I turn over enough pieces, we'll, uh, we'll find a similar one. But, my hope, my, I don't have very high hopes. He finds all the good stuff, I do not. Which is weird, because I'm the one more into this, but he's the better one at it. <laughs> Alright, we got a whole bunch of bryozoans in here. Look at them all. This whole big boulder is full of them. Top of that, a bunch of cute little baby brachiopods. So cute. And I just picked up this piece and we got some little trilobite pieces and parts there. This might be a coral, it might be a bryozoan. If it's a coral, it's one of the first ones I've found here. So that's kind of exciting. But uh, it's just neat little, neat little trilobite pieces down here. I don't think it's a whole one, but that's all right. Someone has a nice little hole dug over there. He's totally replaced with calcite. I need to find better footing. That's kind of neat. I don't leave him behind though. Ooh! Heck yeah! I found a big cephalopod squid that is encrusted in bryozoans. That's so cool. It's a two for one. What? All right, I'm on flat ground, so I can uh, actually appreciate this better without worrying about falling off the side of the hill. But, uh, so you've got these uh, lines. Those are the, I guess, the chambers, um, different segments. So I know it's a, a cephalopod. And then this outside exterior, that's definitely bryozoan. So you would have had the cephalopod, it probably would have died. And the bryzo bryozoan, which is a moss animal, would have gr grown over it and uh, encrusted it. That's so cool. That's crazy. That's like a piece with a story to tell. Now that I found that, I'm hoping to find something else cool. I was gonna take off soon, but I'm wondering if there's more to that piece. Um, 
because I found it right here. I don't see any other pieces of it. Guys, that's such a cool piece. I'm very excited for that. Um, all right. down here has a lot going on. It's uh, mostly all just little baby brachiopods. There's so many of them. Ooh! I'm dropping it. Ow. Hurt my wrist. Scratch my wrist. It's hard to do this with one hand. But super nice piece there. I'm going to leave that behind though. I don't need it. Is this a little loose guy? Yeah, we got a little, a little loose brachiopod there. Alright, let's walk down this way a little bit more. Here's a nice little brachiopod. This is one of my favorite kind of brachiopods right there with the little dimple in them. Yeah, it was probably a cephalopod piece that's been replaced with calcite. Um, I'm still going to leave that behind. There's somebody else to find. Nice little, little brachiopods. There's a kind of cool little pocket of crystals in there. I wonder if I can get up to that. I don't think it's going anywhere though. Here's a nice big chunk full of crinoids, which I've been finding a lot of those all day today, not just at this site. Um, so you can check out my other videos from Kentucky. I'll create a playlist and put it at the end of this video. Um, so you can see all the stuff I found today. Because this is one of like six stops? Seven? Gosh, I don't even know. I have a, foul f I have a four hour drive home still. So uh, this will be fun. Here's a bunch of a trilobite molts and lots of little crinoids and a trilobite butt probably just a shed um, I want to find like one more cool thing before I go Here's kind of a neat piece. We've got a, uh, probably a cephalopod chamber that's been replaced with calcite. I think we found another one of those today. But uh, it's still kind of cool. All Ooh, this is kind of neat. All the Bryozoans. Ooh, that I might keep. That's cool. It's a big chunk, but 
they kind of look like they're all connected. That might be a fun piece to practice prepping on or just leave as a display the way it is because that's kind of crazy. I don't think that's coral. Yeah, that's Brian's Owens. This is kind of a cool piece. It kind of reminds you of Halloween because it's got black and orange. But we've got a bunch of crinoids, some of which are orange for some reason. And the black are all trilobite molts. Little uh, pieces of their exoskeleton that they've shed it off. So I like this piece. I'm keeping it. How did I end up getting this far from my bucket? I did not mean to walk this far. Oh well. I mean, I did mean to walk this far, but I meant to bring the bucket with me. Meh. All right, guys, I have a four hour drive home. It's been a long day. I started at six this morning in Indiana and hit up a bunch of spots that are all in past videos. Uh, I will leave a playlist at the end of this video so you can check those out if you haven't yet. And uh, let me know what your favorite vines are. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and have a good day.